Go ahead. Go ahead. My name is Brooklyn Taylor Karatnik. I am crazy. I am awesome. I'm an artist, a bookworm, a writer, a traveler, and best of all, a writer. My name is Brooklyn Taylor Karatnik, but I prefer just Brooke. I was born in Victoria at the Victoria General Hospital on January 8th. I have moved around a lot and just recently moved twice. You see, I live in Vancouver and Seattle. In Vancouver, I live with my dad, my stepmom, and my stepmom. And in Seattle, I live with my mom, my little sister Hazel, my mom's boyfriend Justin, and his daughter Gracie. And our five pets, I mean family members. <laughs> It gets very annoying going back and forth and back and forth all the time. But I don't get to see my dad very often. We have four cats named Skippy, Nala, Chloe, and Callie. Skippy is a boy. Nala is my cat that was born on Mother's Day. And she was given to me as a birthday present. Chloe is a girl. And Callie is another girl. But my little sister and I have been trying to get our mom chickens for forever. I also have a dog named Nico. He is, I don't really know how old he is though. So, when I was little, I knew how to do baby sign language. I know it sounds crazy, but I did. I knew the signs for animals, the signs for hungry and thirsty, and much, much more. I love horses. Well, the truth is, I love all animals. Whether it's a mouse or an elephant, I love them all. It drives me crazy when people kill them. So that is why I'm a vegetarian. And I always get asked how I can stand it. And I always say, I love animals. Why would I want to eat them? I love riding horses because, well, it just feels free and it's what I love to do. Currently, I'm riding a horse named Mr. Pickle. Riding has taught me that no matter how scared you are, you can always stand up to your fear and just give it your all. And that is also what I've done here. I love nature and anything that has to do with it, <clears throat> really. It drives me nuts when people litter or do anything to pollute. I love going outside into my giant backyard and sitting in the tree branch that hangs down and is shaped like a hammock. I love doing art because you can express and mingle with your feelings. Like, for example, if you're mad, you can do a bunch of scribbles and make them colorful. I have been to a lot of places. Sometimes they aren't fun, though, because my dad does these things called Iron Man that are like marathons, but with, have swimming and biking as well as running. And they're not very fun to watch. <laughs> I have been to Hawaii twice. Alberta, Washington, Alaska, and Los Angeles to go to Disneyland and San Diego. Later on this year, I am going to New York. I know it doesn't really sound like a place I would want to go, but I like going places no one else has gone. I love reading, especially really thick chapter books about fantasy and animals. But even with really thick books, I still have to keep going to the library or bookstore every few days. My two favorite days are Monday, because I have my writing lesson, although sometimes it's not pleasant when it's 50 below zero. Of course, that's just no word exaggeration. <laughs> and Wednesday, because, of course, head start. But sometimes, the weekends, because sometimes I get to go to my dad's or the barn. My three best friends' names are Lily, Ashlyn, and Cora. I recently found out that Lily's brother was the one playing the guitar the first time I did my first speech. So now you know a little bit about me, and I hope you enjoyed this small peek into my life. Thank you for listening to my speech. And, um, back to you. Back to you. <laughs> awesome.